Well, here's a barge that's uh, being pushed down river by a tug. And it is way over on this side of the river. This is the closest I've seen one. Pretty interesting stuff. This riverboat traffic. Uh, yeah, yeah. A lot of us out here got long hair. It's a lot easier than shaving. Yeah. Hi, friends. This is Papa Dale. I'm here with Eric, and uh, he's got a, a brand new Kimbo truck camper. Uh, you can find him on YouTube. I've seen him on YouTube, but uh, he's got uh, the 24th one made. And uh, we're going to take uh, just a quick look here. So it's a Kimbo camper, and this is Eric. So this is the uh, the Kimbo camper. Uh, they're made uh, locally right here in Washington, uh, up in the Bellingham area. And uh, you're not gonna see too many of these around because it's a brand new company. They only been making uh, these campers for two, three years. And as I said earlier, this is uh, number 24 made. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm Papa Dale. Uh, I'll go left-handed since I got the camera right-handed. What's your name? Dave. 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 Yeah. Hi. Yeah. So how do you fit into this whole Kimbo thing? Uh, I'm co-driver. Cool. <laughs> so it's a long way to go from Iowa. Headed back to Iowa, huh? Yeah, via Kimbo. California and a few other places. KimboLiving.com is, uh, is their website. And it's a very unique looking truck camper. Uh, looks like it's a sheet metal exterior. It's unpainted. And it's uh, kind of exciting. Let's take a, take a look on the inside if they'll let us. So here we go. It is the Kimbo Camper. And as we look in the door here, boy, it looks to be very, very well made. Very sturdy. Have to have a pretty heavy truck to haul it. I would guess because it's uh, pardon me. Really, you know what it weighs? Fully loaded, 1,100 pounds. Oh, 1,100 pounds, huh? Oh my goodness! So you got some storage here, and uh, yeah, moving in. You got uh, you got a nice uh, velvet type interior. And some uh, storage bins over here. Very, very small, very compact. You got some storage bins here. And a uh, nice big bed up here. And you got a uh, place to sit, and I think that makes out into a table. And some more storage up here, like pantry stuff, food, looks like you got a uh, fantastic fan set up up here or similar. For ventilation, I like, I like this front window because it opens up. I saw on their website that that front window opens up and allows for even more ventilation. Oh, yeah. And... Uh, you got uh, a nice little, nice little uh, refrigerator here, and here's your water supply. That's pretty cool. And and now you got uh, looks like this is is this a diesel heater? Uh, it's LP. LP. All right. Now I saw in one of them on their YouTube channel or on their uh, yeah YouTube channel. 
They actually have a wood stove. Yep, wood stove, diesel, or propane fireplace. Sitting right here. I see. So it's your choice. Wood stove, diesel, or propane fireplace. Pretty cool. You got these cool these. You can't see them in the daylight, but the this is track lighting that I'm sure gives you some very nice indirect lighting and uh, lighting that uh, does not drain the battery too badly. And down here you've got uh, looks like an air conditioner and uh, looks like um, an inverter. And in here you got storage. It looks like now this is this is pretty awesome. The first step in I like is uh, is wood and uh, it's kind of wood slats so if you kind of get in and you're a little wet or your boots are muddy or whatever it kind of stays right there that's that's pretty nice innovation like that and uh, this window and the door opens up too you don't see that too often I like that pretty cool pretty cool yeah, what the, are the slats are kind of nice because there's a drain underneath them. Oh, there's a drain underneath those slats in the yeah. floor. That's really cool. Yeah, I noticed that. That's really awesome. Whoa! Careful. Yeah, we got a better, got a better oh, system. The old Papa is not as stable on his feet as he once was. So, uh, what are some of the best features about it that you like, Eric? I really like the fireplace, um, the sleeping quarters, um, the compactness and the simplicity. Um, the fact that I don't have a shower and toilet in there, which I don't like in trailers at all. Yeah. So, uh, the lightweight, the movability, I can take it down some pretty rough roads. Um, yeah, overall, after only having a couple days, I'm real pleased with it. Yeah, it's affordable. Are you thinking about maybe uh, getting a composting toilet or something that uh, for make, emergencies? They make, they make a Japanese one that's electric. It seals the bag completely around everything. And it nice. Right, like in the dumpster and stuff, and good to go. Might go that route. Composting ones, you got to be a little careful. They can be a little smelly. Yeah. Uh, I noticed that you had a ladder on the side, so you got uh, some rooftop pounds, storage. Go up there and you got the solar panels up there. 300 pounds, you got yeah. solar? Oh, yeah, I got solar. How much solar do you have? 100 watt, is it? I think. Okay. Got a 100 watt panel. Put everything in here, yeah. including the you know, fridge and stuff. So. Yeah? Yeah. And we've got hookups for, got a Yeti uh, power place in there, so you can charge everything up. Pretty it's awesome. It's so You can get out in the you can probably go for a month with the LP run the fridge. Really? Yeah. So LP tank, five gallon? Uh, 30 gallon. 30 gallon, oh my goodness. Right in here in the door oh, here. nice. We got ourselves a porch back here. Put yeah, you do. Foam floor, we put a chair up there. Yeah. Play guitar, annoy people, or entertain them depending <laughs> on their abilities. <laughs> and today, today it served as a, a funeral hearse. Because we took my 99-year-old mom out here and well, to the Columbia where she loved uh -huh. she every year here for 15 years, and uh, she's floating down the river now. Oh, okay. So, floating down the river. There's her headstones. Ah, okay, nice. Well, uh, nice to be able to show some respect for the older folks. That's great. Well, she traveled with me for 20 years, or from Australia to yeah. uh, Baja, tip of Baja, 48 hours driving out here for 15 years. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. Pretty well. So, so tell me, um, what what are they charging for these things up there? Uh, the base unit is fourteen thousand. The biggest then, unit. Yeah, that's just one with not really anything, no solar, no storage stuff and things. Um, just a shell with the bed and everything else, and you can go up as high as twenty four with solar, with you know all your extra options you can get. I got everything, but I did not want a shower, which they have yep. a shower you can put in, too. Yep. So I think I spent 23000 Uh-huh. So, yeah, about a four-month uh, cool. waiting period to get them. Is it? All right. Well, awesome. Well, I want to thank you for being so gracious and, Any old time. and letting uh, me and uh, our viewers uh, take a look at your setup. Looks like you got... Uh, 
Uh, you got an extra room right out here, huh? Well, he didn't want to sleep in the same bed as me. <laughs> well, I don't blame him. I wouldn't want to sleep in the same bed with you. But he did say it was pretty quiet in there. Yeah. Uh, last night with all the traffic and the trains well, and stuff. It's got R five insulation. Yeah. Um, yeah, R five. So, what what kind of uh, weather is it supposed to be able to withstand? Anything. Really? If you run that little fir- the fireplace in there, yeah, it gets toasty warm. Does it? Yeah, real you, fast. It warms yeah. up quick. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, doesn't take much. Huh? It's a work in progress. I'm sure we'll change a few things. Sure. Yeah. Well, congratulations on your new uh, new motorhome or your new RV, and uh, you'll have many years of fun and enjoyment with it. I'm sure. I'm sure we will. <laughs> Where are you coming from? I'm more local. I'm up uh, in the Olympia area, oh, okay. a couple miles or about uh, a couple hours up. And uh, but uh, Bandit and I live uh, full time in uh, our rig over there, yeah. and uh, we travel all over the West, down uh, through California, Yuma, Nevada, Idaho, or yeah, Idaho. Um, Utah, all, all the way over to Texas. I've got family that live in the North Dallas area, and so uh, you know that's kind of our route. That's kind of our circle as snowbirds. And then I have property up in the Olympia area, and I go back up there in the summertime and visit my kids and and get all my doctor's wellness checkups done, and then I'm off again. We well, got a nice rig there, so plenty of room. Yeah, thanks. You know, living in it full time, one of the biggest concerns is you want to be comfortable. You know, I lived in a, a truck camper uh, full time for about a year just before I uh, bought this. And it was all right, but this this is like a palace now that I've moved out oh, of yeah. that. You know, if you're in there 24-7... It's a lot different than if you take it out on weekends. So, um, yeah, it's 32 foot, and uh, it's got everything. Shower, porcelain, toilet. And I've, I've added thousands of dollars of extras into it. Security systems, camera systems, entrance security. You probably saw the blinking lights last night, the cameras, you know, recording and uh, uh, a lots of uh, comfort amenities that I've built into it, too. So all professionally done. I've got a uh, WeBoost system built in there, so no matter where I go camping as a boondocker, if I can get any kind of signal, a one-bar signal on my cell phone, uh, I can get enough signal with that WeBoost to be able to download or upload from the Internet since I have a YouTube channel and... Uh, I'm uh, trying to post videos all the time. It's important to have internet. Plus, that's my entertainment. So, well, yeah. if you don't post new content on a regular basis, people stop watching. Yeah, so, well, that's yeah. true. Yeah, do you guys have a YouTube channel? No, we don't. No? Uh, well, I do, but I, I just post content on there for people that I shoot videos for. Oh, I see. All right. Um, I'm actually a videographer as well. So. Okay, cool. I can barely turn the computer on. <laughs> Well, I, I do stuff with my cell phone, stuff that's quick, and it's just one long shot like I knew this would be because I don't have to do much editing, and I can just put it up on the Internet right away. And then I've also got half a dozen other cameras, some with telephoto lenses and some with wide-angle lenses, GoPro types and, and tripods and all of that. If I'm going to really spend some time and make a super quality video, then I use that. So... Yeah. Well, all right, you guys. Well, thanks a lot.